Hello, Alex Jordan here with your Canfield Weekly Update. We're going to go hard towards the finish line here. I'm not going to stop short. Our student council put out a survey with our graduating seniors to see what type of topics they might like either refreshed or new topics presented to them at an upcoming Life After CHS event. For some examples of those events and activities that youngsters will be interacting with not only district personnel, but outside resources are gonna be coming in, talking about what life, adulthood, they will be faced with. Example, you might not think it might be important, but, but tying a tie is a good activity to learn. And we do re uh, rely on parents, adults, to educate our youth on these topics that we're gonna be talking about, but sometimes it's nice to hear from another source. So tying a tie, changing a tire. Um, again, a refresher on what resume should look like and how to interact during an interview. Uh, first impressions mean a lot. Uh, also, we're, we're gonna be having individuals, not only district personnel, but outside resources come in and talk about student debt, talking about student loans, discussing on the importance of finances from this point on. I know darn well, I've got an 18 year old daughter. She's gonna be going to college next year for the first time. She's gonna probably sign up just to get one of those free t-shirts that they give away at YSU, a new credit card. And then she'll probably sign up for one for a new hat. And then she'll sign up one for a new towel. That's just what students do. Why do I know this? I did it and I drove my parents crazy. So we wanna educate our youth that every time you sign up for a credit card, you better understand you use that credit card, you better have your finances in order. And what our youngsters don't quite understand right now, and they're gonna learn for the first time, that when they're 18 and they go to college, mom and dad are not gonna have a lot of contact with the university when it comes to their finances, along with not only student debt when it comes to their, the financial burden that college has, but those credit cards. It's gonna be on our kids. So we better educate them and we're gonna try to help them out that way. The one piece that I'm very interested in and in making sure that youngsters understand what pitfalls are out there for them, we're gonna again have outside resources come in and talk about what's appropriate on a date, what's appropriate interaction uh, with the opposite gender. Uh, so these are some topics that we not only have experience with here in the building, but it's good to hear from an outside source. Uh, no means no. Uh, what's what's appropriate when you're when you're going out and you're going to let's just say uh, McDonald's and you leave your drink on the counter uh, a, a soft drink don't leave drinks laying around and yes I'm sure our students are going to be going to other establishments that they'll go to a dance floor and they leave that drink um, sitting there understand you better not go back to it and take a drink out of it because you didn't have access to it other people did as well so these are great activities to educate it's having our youngsters hear from someone else another source and maybe they'll actually take something from that I want to thank all of those individuals who set this up and also those individuals who are coming in helping to present to our youth we'd like to also thank the student council they really took this on they did the survey asked youngsters what they would want to hear and then accumulated the data and and highlighted probably about six to eight different activities top activities uh, that they would like to hear so thank you to them as well graduations coming up uh, that those uh, dates that date and time is available on the website but that is next friday seven o'clock in our gymnasium um, i think the air condition's on now full blast so that we could be nice and cool in there but putting all those individuals in a gym usually brings the temperature up so we want to highlight for our youngsters act like adults do it appropriately it is an event that is structured we also ask the public uh, I went to a graduation this past week and I'll go to my own, my own daughter's graduation and at each graduation it's announced at the very beginning. Please hold your applause until the very end. Try not to whistle, try not to hoot and holler for each student. 
I think our families don't quite understand. You're actually embarrassing our graduate um, a lot of the time. I know my daughter looked at me and said, don't you dare clap for me personally. So understand, you're gonna hear that from our principals. Please take that and understand that there's a reason why we ask you to hold your applause until the end. We want to recognize our girls lacrosse team, all of our spring sports, wonderful job representing us, but specifically girls lacrosse, making it to the Sweet 16. They got knocked out last night, represented us every step of the way. Young program, youngsters who participated in this sport not too many years, just did a fantastic job in the coaching staff. Thank you for all your dedication, along with the boosters. Uh, this, is, this is a sport that isn't necessarily uh, supported uh, solely by the school system financially. We want to thank you for getting behind this club sport and representing us every time you take the field. Baseball, the district finals, that was postponed last night. We're playing that team on the other side of 224. We would like to recommend everybody to come on out. It's 430 tonight. We're hoping to get this edited and out there for you. Uh, again, it's postponed in the third inning, and uh, we're down by one run, but you know baseball. It can, it can turn on the drop of a hat. So come on out and support our guys. Great job, everyone, throughout the district. I know it's a stressful time. It's pressure cooker this time of year. We tell everybody to hold on to the, the surfboard because the waves are coming. Just understand we're going to work with you if you have concerns, questions throughout the remainder of the year. We're here for kids. Never forget that, and never forget it's a great time to be a Cardinal.